Assalamu alaikum students today we are going to study about the sexual reproduction in vulgaria as we know that for the sexual reproduction male as well as female sex organs are needed and if we talk about the reproduction in the vulgaria then the male sex organs in the vulgaria are antherium and the female sex organ in the vulgaria are ovogonium so in the last lecture we have studied about the development of antheridium but in this lecture we will focus on the structure as well as development of ovogonium how the ovogonium is developed on the plant body how it can be fertilized and how fertilized oosphere can germinate to produce a new plant body or a filament of pocheria so let's see as we know that the plant body of a vulgaria is cynocytic it means there are no cross walls are present and many many nuclei are present without separation or a septum in the plant body or a filament of vulgaria when we have studied about the antheridium then we know that the antheria are produced at the short branches of a filament or a plant body of a vulgaria so how the male structure are produced so like this this is a male structure which is known as antheridium it is produced on the short branch of vulgaria so this is basically antheridium which is known as male structure and this is a filament so we can write here filament of cynocytic body cynocytic plant body because we know that the body of vulgaria is cynocytic and this is a male structure which is known as antheridium antheridium as you know that antheridium is a a uh, far in a hook like structure on a short branch of a vulgaria so after the development or a production of antheridium then development of female structure ovogonium is produced so it means that firstly developed structure are antheridium and after the maturation or a production of antheridium then development of ovogonium is started so this antheridium is developed but now it is a time for the production of ovogonium but another thing which you have to keep in mind that at the same branch ovogonium are present where the antheridium are produced so how the ovogonium will produce ovogonium will produce at the same branch but firstly it develop into a small outgrowth exactly near to the antheridium so this is a very close to antheridium from which this is a point from which ovogonium is uh, going to develop so small outgrowth is produced in the short branch here you can see this is a small outgrowth is formed small out growth is for so we can write here when the production of ovogonium both male and female it means antherium as well as ovogonium are produced at same and short branch of short branch of a plant body or a thallus plant body you can also say that a thallus so small outgrowth so when this small outgrowth is formed what will happen let me tell you this outgrowth increase in size when this outgrowth increase in size we know that the body of this vulgaria is cynocytic it means not 
septum or a cross walls are present. So it means cytoplasm as well as protoplasm as well as nuclei can enter into this outgrowth from this sinusitic plant body. So this is a sinusitic plant body and this is a male structure which is known as ovogonium and this is outgrowth which is increased in size and this outgrowth is basically a developing into ovogonium. So this is a male structure which is known as anthidium. This is sinusitic plant body and when this is grow grow into a some extent the nuclei from here it means from sinusitic plant body nuclei from this sinusitic plant body move here as well as protoplast will move here it means the body of this vocheria sinusitic no cross walls are present so that's why nuclei as well as protoplast can move from sinusitic plant body to this outgrowth when it is full of nuclei as well as protoplast then it cut off the connection from this whole sinusitic plant body and changed into a single independent cell so now it is converted into a single independent but multinucleated cell. So now if we talk about this, this is an anthridium. This is an anthridium. And this is filamentous plant body. Filamentous plant body. Also you can say it thallus. This is a thallus and a sinusitic. And now this is ovogonium. Ovogonium. So we can write here small outgrowth. Outgrowth grow in size. Grow in size. And many nuclei. And protoplast move into outgrowth, into outgrowth and separated from thallus through a septum. through a septum. So this is separated from this hole. It means the connection is separated through a, this septum. So this is a plant body. This is ovogonium. When the nuclei as well as protoplast will move here, then it is separated. So this is a septum. And this septum cut off this ovogonium from this whole plant body. So it is a very close to anthridium. So when ovogonium mature, it means still this ovogonium is immature. When this ovogonium will mature, all the nuclei present in this cell are degenerated except one. It means only a single nuclei is present but all the nuclei in this are degenerated. After the degeneration, now it is mature ovogonium and now it can be fertilized through a male and thyrocytes. And when it will become mature, the wall of this make a small pore. So you can see here, this is a small pore which is developed after its maturation. So what will happen? So it is the time of maturation. After that, we will see how the fertilization will occur with this female structure which is known as ovogonium. So let's see. This is a same plant body 
which have male as well as female structure so let me tell you this is a same thing body is synocytic and here are the antheria and antheria can release from here this is a male structure in which antherozoites are present so we can write it antheridium a male structure and this is a female and here single nucleus is present all the nuclei are degenerated now and small pore is produced now it is a time for its fertilization so many many more many many more antherozoites are present for the sake of fertilization and can penetrate it into this oogonium through this pore this is a small pore and now from this point antherozoites can penetrate it and fertilize it so many many more will come inside but only single antherozoite can fertilize it and it will become a zygote so when it will become a zygote it mean now the fertilization is occur it become a zygote and also known as oospore oospore this o fertilized oospore will come out from this plant body and become thick wall so this is fertilized oospore and become thick wall so you can write here fertilized oospore and become and become thick wall now question is that why it become thick wall it become thick wall due to rest condition it mean if the conditions are unfavorable to pass out the unfavorable condition it become thick wall when the condition unfavorable condition passes then it will germinate and produce a new plant body or a new thallus of fusaria so this is all about the oogonium development as well as fertilization and how the germination will occur germination will occur after the passing of unfavorable condition as it mean that as the favorable condition come it will germinate and produce a new plant body of fusaria